Hi there and welcome to another one of our Diecast Journey product reviews. Um, this time around we're looking at the Gulf set uh, of the Car Culture series. This dates back to 2019, so it's it's not a new set, um, but we only started collecting recently and and this was one of those first sets that we really decided that we wanted to have. Um, so we couldn't find it anymore in South African stores and we imported this from China. Um, now Gulf obviously um, as a theme is really cool because it's really associated with uh, classic motorsport and, and also very closely associated with, with some of the brands uh, like Ford for example, uh, this Mustang and, and also Porsche and so on. So this set um, brings a few cars into the mix that you might not expect which is really cool but there is uh, potentially you know one or two cars that we we miss in this set and uh, we'll talk about those when we get there first up though um, the first car in the set is this 1960s fiat 500d modificado this is apparently the second time that this casting has appeared in in, in the, the hot wheels uh, premium line and um, yeah it's really it's really cute to see the golf colors apply to such a small vehicle um, beautiful detail orange wheels um, rubber tires obviously metal body lots of detail around the grill even inside and then of course the exposed engine um, at the back in the style of some of the Abarth racing cars of the past so uh, from Europe a really nice um, first start uh, for the Gulf series then heading over to America where you find the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302 a really classic motorsport look to this car and obviously Gulf being very closely associated with Ford it really does suit uh, suit this car and it's a nice um, a nice car to have in this set um, lovely wheels again um, you know in the car culture series we really like the way that um, that Ford um, that Hot Wheels mixes up the, the tire combinations and, and the way that the wheels fit the car so lovely detail as you can see all around even got a roll bar inside that is visible so definitely a motorsport theme here then um, so we've had some European and some uh, American uh, cars for number three in the set we go to Japan uh, where we have the Nissan Laurel 2000 GSX now I've never seen this casting before uh, but I am aware that it has been done before but probably not in this much detail and never before with the Gulf uh, color scheme. What's really nice about this car um, is, uh, if you can see, is that the Gulf stripe that typically is sort of over the center of the vehicle is offset here. And again, you know, riding on the orange wheels, this car's got an orange painted base as well. Lots of detail uh, in the back and the back lights and the badging. Um, you know, J Japanese historics is uh, all the rage at the moment, so I'm sure that this one is, is probably one of the favorites, not only, not only for us, uh, but for everyone who's collecting this set. Then, number four, and this is the one where we feel the set uh, makes a turn for the worse, unfortunately, is this Volkswagen Golf Mark 7. Now, in South Africa, Golf is very popular and um, for that reason it's probably would be very uh, popular but um, there's just a missed opportunity here. I mean just a simple change like uh, making this a GTI for example or a Golf R would have already made it more um, appealing but um, as far as the casting goes it, it rides on a really aggressive looking nice wheels there's lots of detail in front um, and, and also at the back um, but yeah it, it's just we think um, not one of the strongest cars in this set but we'll rank them shortly and then this beautiful McLaren F1 GTR uh, very iconic it's got the, the darker blue um, golf paint scheme um, this Le Mans racer lots of detail again um, beautiful box art 
and uh, yeah well the McLaren F1 is a favorite uh, of car enthusiasts all over the world and um, even in hot wheels form we think you know this one is, is really going to get people excited so ranking them from fifth to first definitely in fifth place we would put the Volkswagen Golf simply because it, it's just a little bit out of step uh, with the rest of the set which is very uh, classical very um, appropriate we feel for, for golf livery and um, yeah this just feels a bit odd uh, in, in this set so that gets fifth place then in fourth place I'm gonna go with the Fiat 500D Modificado not because there's anything wrong with the model but also because like the Golf it um, doesn't quite feel like a car that that should have golf livery on it um, but that being said uh, it's it's an interesting quirky uh, addition to the set third place um, goes to the Ford Mustang Boss um, and that's sounds like a like a bad placing um, but it's because the rest of the set is so strong um, and you know we've seen a lot of Mustang um, from Hot Wheels so in, in terms of sort of uniqueness and um, rarity we, we just feel that Mustang has been done a lot and it's it's perhaps a bit too obvious this one um, so it gets pushed into third place by the car that comes second uh, this Nissan Laurel 2000 GSX. Now we we definitely also fans of the Japan historics um, movement and and this Laurel because we've never seen it before in Hot Wheels is is one of our favorite cars in this set but not our favorite favorite. The first place definitely goes to the McLaren F1 GTR and um, that's perhaps predictable um, it's such an iconic racing car and it's really nicely done in this Art Wheels um, premium set. Lovely detailing, great box art and it's um, as far as a flagship of a set goes, you can't really get any better than this. If you're looking for this set uh, and you're based in South Africa then um, you're probably going to have to pay a heck of a lot of money per car and you won't be able to find a full set easily even on, on the likes of bid or buy. You're probably going to have to import it and you're looking at uh, at least around a thousand rand uh, for that. Um, so happy hunting and stay tuned for more reviews.